Hello, everyone. I'm so glad you're here today. And um, the project we're going to do today is make a fish. Now you're wondering, I should say you're probably wondering what this fish is made out of. Well, this fish is made out of a two liter soda bottle, empty, of course, a two liter one. Now, I have a liter bottle, which is a nice size too. And you're just gonna start with the bottle. You wanna make sure it's nice and cleaned out, okay? With your parents doing all of the cutting, because what they're gonna need to do is they're gonna have to cut the bottom of the soda bottle off, okay? So once that soda bottle has come off, has been cut off, it will look like this, all right? Now, you're gonna save the, you're gonna save the cap of the soda bottle, and you're gonna place, your parents are gonna place a hole in the cap, and they'll also place a tiny hole on the top, all right? Fishing wire is something you will need, or if you don't have that, you know, just some, you know, really thin, thin rope will work as well. Fishing wire is just really strong, and I like this a lot. So, once the holes have been punched, you're going to place your fishing wire into the hole, and then you're going to thread it into the top and tie a knot. So, it looks like this, because this is what's going to actually hang your fish. So I want to make sure you see exactly how that looks. The cap goes on the inside. You tie the knots, put it through the top, and then you have your, your hanger, okay? Now, this fish's mouth is wide open. You don't need to cut this out if you don't want to. You can keep the mouth just like this. Or you can have your, your parents, you know, they can cut the top and you can put a little size cup inside so it looks like the, the fish's mouth is open. All right? So once that has been accomplished, again, you don't need to cut this off. You can just keep it like that because this could be the mouth of the fish. But now you're going to squeeze the ends together and you're going to tape the top of the plastic bottle. This is going to keep it closed tight for the next step. All right, it's been cut. I mean, it's been taped. Now we have taped it. Now we are going to make a shape where the fold is. I'm going to use my marker. Try to stay away from using a black marker because it does show through when you work, continue to work on your project. Now, I am going to make a shape on this side. I'm going to make the same shape on the other side. You know, when you have Valentine's Day, you know how you make Valentine's when you, when you cut the fold and you make that cut so it's like a curve, it's the exact same thing. But instead of paper, we're gonna be cutting plastic, okay? Now this is kind of tricky. Again, you might want your parents to do this for you. It's kind of hard to do. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. And after I'm done this cut, will look like the tail as well as the fins of the fish. All right? Going, going, going. Look at that. Pretty neat, huh? I love it. Now you really see a fish, don't you? It's pretty easy to do. Next step. Do you have colored tissue paper at home? I use colored tissue paper on my project. If you don't have colored tissue paper, no worries. 
You could use paint as well. Now, when I started out, I used tissue paper and Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a great product. It acts like glue, but it also has a sheen to it. Now, perhaps you don't have Mod Podge. That's okay, because you can make your own. And the recipe is one cup of glue, one third cup of water, stir, 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 and stir, and there you have it. If you want it to be waterproof, you'll just add a couple of tablespoons of clear varnish, and that way you can hang your fish outside. If you don't have the varnish, that's okay. You can just hang it in your room. All right, so I, like I said, I took orange and I took yellow tissue paper and I covered my entire fish. And you're thinking, but it looks blue, which it is. But underneath it, you can kind of see the glimpses of the gold underneath it because fish are really, really shiny. And I wanted that look. So after my piece dried with the yellow and the orange tissue paper over it. I proceeded to put aqua and a light blue paper over the entire thing. Mod podged it. And that was my next step. Now the next step is to give it a little more pizzazz. Do you know what I mean by pizzazz? Make it look real fun and like this. Look at these, all these gemstones. And I have metallic markers that I use here and Google eyes. And that's what I'm gonna do next. So gather all of your materials. And as you're doing that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start on my piece. And, ah, sequins, they're so shiny and pretty. Wouldn't those be nice on this? And you know what else you could do? You could take your Mod Podge, brush it on, sprinkle this on it, and all these sequins, sprinkle it on there, and whoa, wouldn't that be pretty? All right. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to use my hot melt glue gun, of course. And as you know, if you don't have a hot melt glue gun, you can just use your white glue. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am going to start with my eyes. I'm going to take some pretty big eyes because I want big, big, big eyes. So this fish sees everywhere that it's going. Yes. It's another one. Very nice. And you can see I kept the bottle top just like this, where this is another sample of what you can do. All right. And now I am going to add gemstones. I've got all kinds, because my fish is going to be pretty fancy. It's going to be a beauty. So I'm just going to take all my gemstones and get to work. Once the gemstones have been applied, if you don't have gemstones, you could use buttons. You could even use beads. You can make this fish look any way you want. My fish doesn't really look that realistic, but you can tell it's a fish, and that's what it's all about. Just want to have fun and create, make something that you can hang in your room and be so proud of. Yes, indeed. Going here, there we go. Another one. I'm almost done with this side. 
And then I'm going to do a little more detail work with my metallic marker. All right, so far, this is what I've done. Looks pretty fancy. Now, the finishing touches. My gold marker. And now I am going to just follow the shapes that I see. I'm just gonna go around, make this guy really fancy and pretty. Going around, follow the lines. Oh my goodness, there's no wrong way or right way to do this. Everything is fabulous. Oh, you are going to love this. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. It's very creative, not real difficult. Although there are some parts that could be difficult. And you know what we need to do. You know what you need to do. You need the help of an adult. That's right. Because when it comes to cutting this plastic, it's not an easy task. But adding all these beautiful highlights of my Sharpie. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the result. I think it's quite fun. All right. Well, I think you're going to enjoy this project along with your parents. All right. You have a great day. And I want to thank you for joining me. Have fun creating. Thank you.